it's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Mark from the States. How are we doing today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I invite you to come sit on this big fake couch. We did a video uh, not too long ago about uh, Magic Geekdom's 10 must places to visit. And, and I love their list. I really do. Uh, one of the best things about the list is it didn't include London, even though that is my number one spot that I'm going. And that's because, you know, I haven't been uh, to England yet uh, or the UK as a whole. But uh, one of the places that wasn't on their list was Portsmouth that I want to visit. Well, friend Darren from Adventure Me has a video that kind of shows Portsmouth. I, I actually been looking for a video on Portsmouth. I've contacted a few people who've done said videos of Portsmouth and none of them has gotten back to me uh, for my request to react to their video. So uh, it's, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I don't, I could have swore I looked on Darren's channel uh, for a Portsmouth video I somehow missed this one. Um, I noticed this from another reactor that just kind of popped up into my feed. They're way more popular than I am. So YouTube, since I'm doing reaction videos, sends me a lot in their algorithm. And I saw this, and I'm like, how on earth did I miss this? I love Darren. I love Adventure Me. I love the channel. And this is what I've been wanting. I was shocked. How did I miss it? So, uh, Darren, of course, has given us his blessing to watch and learn from his videos. So I'm always excited to watch his stuff. Uh, I have actually a few others of his that are more recent. This is actually from 2021. So some things may have changed since then. This is during or right after the pandemic. I don't know. But uh, either way, uh, we're going to hopefully see and learn something new and learn something incredible. Uh, so I'm excited. So like I said, come sit with me on this big fake couch. Let me go ahead and uh, dart out here. Hold on a sec here. Let me just get this queued up. So just come with me. Hang out with me. This is Amazing, you guys, I love it. Let's do it. Of course, please go support his channel. I can't believe I forgot to say this. This is so important. I say it all the time, but it's so important. Links to his channel and to his video will be in the description. Please, please, please go and support him. Don't worry about supporting my channel. I love that you come and watch. But go support the original creators. That is the most important thing. The fact that uh, you can just go there and do a like helps their channel immensely. So it's important that you do do it. And uh, I mean, if you want to support our channel, go and watch some of the older videos. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, but most importantly, go support the people that we watch. That is what we're here to do. Hello and welcome to a brand new video. But today we're down here in the lovely sunny Portsmouth. I'm going back already. I know. You, nobody likes it when we pause. I get it. I'm so sorry. But I'm looking at this boat uh, here. Is that like one of the ferries? My son had to take a ferry from, uh, from Dublin to um, uh, Hollyhead. Is that what they're gonna what they would have been on i never really even asked him what the boat was like the ferry itself that it's if it is the thing's way larger than i thought it would be okay hello and welcome to a brand new video but today we're down here in the lovely sunny portsmouth 
Now, if you saw my last video where we took a walk down South Sea, well, I'm going to continue that walk all the way through the historic city of Portsmouth. And I'm going to show you all that it has to offer down there. Awesome. Including the historic dockyards and the Gun Wharf Keys as well. So let's head down there. Come on then. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so our first port of call is what is known as the Long Curtain Moat and Battery. Now this was opened in the 1600s. Wow. So it's basically a harbour defence for Portsmouth. So it was what they would have used as a fort to defend against the French as we were talking about in the South Sea video with the various forts further up the coast. Well that's cool. <laughs> so we're making our way down towards historic Portsmouth and you can just see Gosport over there in the distance. Gosport, now, okay. Aqua, that sea is. We're going to continue along the moat here and down towards what is known as the battery. Now this battery has tunnels which lead up into Portsmouth and up to uh, a pub. Oh, gotta love that. I think Admiral Lord Nelson had a secret tunnel. That's what I'm told anyway. It was discovered by two brothers from Portsmouth and they uh, stumbled across this tunnel when they were putting in a lamppost on the street, so I'm told. So we're just going to make our way down here now and I'm going to show you the statue of uh, Admiral Lord Nelson. The, uh, one of the most famous men in Portsmouth. You can also see the ruins of uh, a church just over there on the right. So well, here he is, the man church. himself. As you'll see popping up in various locations throughout Portsmouth. Standing proud, looking over the harbour area. That's cool. I like it. I'm already jealous that I'm not there. So this is what is known as the, the battery. And like I said, it was opened in the 1600s and it's part of the same defense as the moat. And you can also just see a Victoria Pier down there, which was uh, built for hey. craft and uh, mooring uh, ships. Now used for fishing. 42. But we're still Look making our way along the, uh, the defenses here and we're heading down towards the round tower, which you'll see in the distance there. Oh wow. We just take a look on the right here at some of the buildings in what I would call Old Portsmouth. Now these are modern buildings or so they look anyway. But they fit in well with the area. It's quite a nice little street down there. Now look at that beach there. Nice little hidden beach just next to the round tower. And again with views across to Gosport over there. Now when I get up here, I'm just going to pan you over to the right so you can see some of the uh, styles of the buildings on the old streets of Portsmouth down there. Now like I said, some of these are new and some of them are fairly old, so it's hard to distinguish. I'm really digging the vibe here. They all fit in very well. Now down there it appears that they've made use of some of this courtyard area. It's now got a lot of uh, restaurants and bars and eateries and very nice places for you to hang out. They've made a really nice courtyard out of that. 
We're now going to head into what is known as the Round Tower. Like I said, we're going to go inside. It's actually free entry again, like most things in Portsmouth. Just look at the uh, brickwork in here, how nice it is. Now, this Round wow. Tower was built in 1418 by King Henry V. And it was, again, to defend Portsmouth Harbour from the French. Because back then, that's all they were worried about, was the invasion of the French. None of these uh, other forces back then. You can just see some of the bars and restaurants just down there again. And lots of places for the kids to come and climb around, and nice tunnels and things. And I'm going to make my cool. way through here, admit. and up onto the round tower at the top, so we can get a nice view. But again, you can see across the Gosport wow. over there. You can catch a ferry across there, if you need to. Blessed with Let's a go nice inside. day as well. And up these stairs here. Oh. Cheers. Social distancing. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, so now we're at the top of the round tower. And just check out that view. All the way back down there to uh, Clarence Pier in the distance. You can see the Isle of Wight just over there. Oh, wow. And then you've got Gospel. I didn't know it was so close. I mean, I guess I did, but I mean, yeah, it looks like you could just reach out and touch it. Interesting. Cool. Port on the right hand side there and all their ports. And all the way round and into Portsmouth Harbour. Okay, so let's make our way back out so you can just see the round tower again to the right up there. Some nice little bistros down here. And we're going to head nice. out this little doorway at the back here. And we're going to start making our way down into what is known as Old Portsmouth. Now what we're going to do before we head into Portsmouth in the dock area, we're going to head down to what is known as Spice Island. Now Spice Island is exactly that. It's a small island that jets out in front of the harbour of Portsmouth. Again, across to Gosport there, just look how aqua that sea is. So I'm going to speed up this walk for you because it's quite a long walk down to Spice Island. But just check out some of these buildings and how beautiful they are, especially with the sunshine on them. Wow, that nice little that. modern one there in yeah, front. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Fits in really well. Gosh. I love that, the colours down here. I would love to live there, that would be awesome. I mean, if you had, if I had to live in Portsmouth, that's, I think I'd want to live there. That one almost looks Greek with the colours. Cobblestone. Look out. Okay, so here we are on Spice Island. And you can see the pub named after it there. Oh, Spice Island. Very popular today with the weather. You can see straight across into Portsmouth Harbour. Still west. We will head very shortly. So we're um, going to head back up the island and then out towards the harbour. This is awesome. Now just check out the view towards the Spinnaker Tower there. Off this headland. Looks like you can see the... Okay, so we're Ships making our long walk back down distance. Spice Island and round towards Gunwharf Keys. Now just check out the uh, old rails in the road there, the old tram rails, oh, yeah. to uh, obviously back in the day to ferry goods in and out of the port here. Like I said, any of the spices from around the world would have come in at this point here, hence the name Spice Island. Okay, so I'm going to leave you to enjoy the fast walk up here. And then I'll see you a bit further up at Gunwolf Keys. I mean, I wish I could walk this fast in real life. That'd be great. Yes. 
Okay, so we've just taken a little shortcut across so cool. towards Gunwharf <laughs> Keys now. And as you can see, when Gun we get Wharf over Keys. here, the buildings are a lot more modern. Very nice, I must say. I love the colours. And this is what is known as Gunwharf Keys or the Plaza. Is it like uh, apartments? Now, what I need to do Flats. is take a walk through Gunwharf Keys to show you the modern development down there and all the old historic stuff as well. But as you can see, there is a massive, massive queue right ahead there to get in. Now, Ooh. presuming this is due to coronavirus, just to uh, keep the shoppers down to a minimum. So uh, I better go join the queue. Well, which is silly because you have them all queued up like that. If if it was all about social distancing, how? <laughs> right? Ew. We just take a look at those beautiful buildings. Yeah. Now that really is known nice. as the Lipstick Tower. Lipstick Tower. As far as I know, it's apartment blocks in there. That's, Looks like a lipstick on its side. That's funny. And it lights up red at the top. No. Lots of uh, bars again and restaurants around here. Okay. So I've just queued up in that. It took me about 40 minutes to get through, but we're here. So let's head up through Gunwharf Keys and I'll show you some of the sights further down. Oh, I love that. The licorice. <laughs> it looks so much fun here. Okay, so just coming up on our right here is what is known as the Old Customs House. So this is one of the only original buildings remaining of Gunwharf Keys. And they've nicely incorporated it into wow. the modern development there. Yeah. But now a popular bar. You can see one of the old uh, dock cranes here. Now this is Gunwharf Keys, which is a shopping district now. It was built in 2001. And uh, it's a premium designer outlet. It was meant to accompany the Spinnaker Tower, so it's supposed to open at the same time, but I'll tell you more about that when we get down there. You can see the original docks here. Now again, all these would have been filled with warehouses and mm -hmm. loading and unloading platforms. And we've got a nice uh, bust from a ship here. There's quite a few of these around this area, which is good to see they've kept them. And this one is from the HMS Vernon. The HMS Vernon? Okay, so let's no. head further down. HMS Vernon, right? Shall we go back here just down. so I can read it? Or did uh, did I miss it? I wanted to read the plaque. HMS Vernon figurehead. The figurehead originates from the f fourth HMS Vernon, a 50 gun frigate that saw active service in home waters in the Americas and East Indies between, I think that says 1852 and, well, no, that must be 32, 1832 and 1848. She was then laid up in Chatham Dockyard till the emerging, till emerging in 1867 for use as a floating jetty. In 1872, she was given a new lease of life as a, uh, what does it say? Hull anchored in Fountain Lake, Portsmouth, where she was a tender to HMS. Can't read that. For training, I guess. MP training. The hulk of Vernon together with those of the former 26-gun steam frigate Ariadne. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right providing accommodation in the lighter um, Florence Nightingale were is that lighter fighter I, I, I don't know what that were commissioned as HMS Vernon to become the name of the Royal Navy's torpedo branch at Portsmouth Wow on October the 1st of October 1923, HMS Vernon was established ashore at Portsmouth on the site that is now Gunwharf Geese.
Nice. I dig it. Okay, so let's head further down. This place looks amazing. You can see the lovely modern marina here. Some nice yachts in there. And there's some lovely restaurants and bars on the right hand side here. I am loving how modern this building is, but also very respectful to the original history here. Okay, so we're heading down towards the Spinnaker Tower, which is over 560 feet high, right to the top there. And there's a viewing platform, and there's actually three levels at the top there that you can go up. Now the Spinnaker Tower used to have a glass lift on the outside of the tower that went up and down. Due to technical issues, they actually decommissioned it quite a few years back now, and it's not in use anymore, unfortunately. So here we are at the bottom of the Spinnaker Tower. Like I said, this was due to open in 2000 for the millennium, but it actually opened in 2005 due yeah. to delays. Yeah, almost got, got it in on time. So we're just <laughs> going to take a shortcut through the Gun Wharf Shopping Centre. As you can see, very busy, so I'm making my way hastily through there and out the other side. Love so we're going to head down towards what is known as the Portsmouth Harbour Station and then onwards towards where the... Uh, Naval Museum is as well. So straight out here, and the station is just to the left down here. Also on the right hand side there you've got the bus station. Just listen to those trains as they clonk along the pier here. Okay, so we've left Gun Wharf Keys and we're around here now at the Portsmouth Harbour Station. Now this station is very unique because it's all built on a wooden pier. The whole station jets out on a wooden pier. Now it was built back in the day to uh, accompany the ferries which would have gone across to Gosport and the Isle of Wight from here. So it opened in 1876 and it was at a train and ferry terminal. Now just look at that pier, it's all modern now. I think they've modernised it with steel, but it was made out of wood. In fact, you can, when the trains go on the pier, you can hear it all rattling. Oh, I It's bet. very unique, that. Especially remaining and still in use today. And then just over there, we have the HMS Warrior, which is part of the Portsmouth Naval Museum. Heck yeah. Which we'll head over shortly, and I'll show you the entrance to that. So that uh, HMS Warrior, was uh, built in 1860 and it was a Royal Navy ship. So we're making our way around towards the Naval Museum. Now the museum holds many of the famous ships, the historic ships. You've got the HMS Victory, which mm -hmm. was launched in 1765. Mary, Mary Rose. It was Lord Nelson's flagship. And it was involved in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Yes. And then more famously than that, you've got the Mary Rose which is from 1511 and it served 33 years in service built for Henry VIII and it sunk in 1545 they managed to raise it in 18 sorry 1982 just off the coast of the South Sea Castle which you'd see in my previous video and we have a video we've uh, watched that 82 uh, raising of the Mary Rose and it, it's a cool video go search search for it if i remember i'll put the link but i don't know if i will remember that but if i don't just go on the channel and, and get up into the search on uh videos and uh 
Search for it, yeah. Really cool. We're making our way down towards the entrance to the museum. Now, unfortunately, we can't go in because it's pre-bookable only and it's actually sold out. Mm. So we can't see the uh, Victory or the Mary Rose, but we can see the HMS Warrior there, right in front of us. Yeah, Portsmouth's notable for having some famous residents as well, ranging from people like Peter Sellers, Rudyard Kipling, H.G. Wells, Arthur Conan Doyle, Wow. And our very famous man, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, and then not forgetting Charles Dickens. Wow, that's a list of who's right, so who. You can just see inside the Naval Museum here. Like I said, it's sold out today. Oh, that's a bummer. There are a lot of naval history in there. If you fancy a day out, it's well worth a trip. I do. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, brief walk through Portsmouth there and some of the beautiful buildings down okay. on the dockside. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little trip through Portsmouth there and what a beautiful city it really is. So we've just finished up here now, right next to the, the dockside and the uh, Gunwharf Keys as well. But if you like the video, please give the video a like. If you've got any comments, please put them down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now. Darren, thank you. My friend, I appreciate you for doing that. I know that is just a piece of Portsmouth, the historic dockyards area, and the keys down there looks absolutely amazing. Like, I definitely, definitely want to go. Um, I know someone has told me how far it is by train, um, and so if we were to get to London, could... Could you make a day of it or would it be something we would have to travel? And of course, this is all stuff that I can look up, of course. But it spurs conversation. <laughs> um, would it be worth going down there, seeing, because I would, I'd want to see all three of those ships at the historic dockyards, plus all the museums associated with it. And knowing that now, I had no idea that the, the Gun Wharf Keys was down there and how cool it was. So I would like to spend some time there. So like, should I think about staying the night and then going back early the next day, back to London? Hmm. That's interesting. But it would be fun to get to cruise around there, have a couple uh, cocktails, go visit these historic dockyards, walk around. It just looks fun. It just, yeah, I love it. I had no idea all that other stuff was there. So I'm very, very, very happy. Thank you, Darren. Appreciate you. Please go support Adventure Me. It is so important that you do so. Links will be in the description to channel and to this video. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I did a video on the on the, the Mary Rose, the raising of it in 1982. Oh, very cool. And uh, so I would love to be able to see it. That's kind of the cool thing is like I, I, I do all these videos, right? And uh, we watch on our channel here and learn. And and uh, then just knowing someday I'll get to see him in person and go, yeah, I remember that. I'm just excited. And uh, thank you to all of you hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Hey, um, so you have an election coming up next week. I have... Uh, an Independence Day holiday. I, I don't really know what it's about, but uh, maybe some of you can tell me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 4th of July. Why we call it 4th of July and not July 4th, I don't know. We complain that, you know, you all say the date wrong, but yet we call it 4th of July. So go figure. Um We'll be going up to the mountains, to the lake, uh, like we do uh, 
every year it seems like to our uh, we have friends who own a cabin a house in the woods uh, up there and we love going up there it's just a lot of fun we get out on the lake and barbecue and yeah it's a lot of fun um, I think I might want to try to do a live stream with maybe my phone or something Sunday Sunday we leave that's the problem. We're going to be leaving on Sunday, so I don't know if I'll have a chance, but maybe like Saturday. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a video up there or just take film and then show you how our weekend was. I don't know. I say this all the time, like, yeah, I'm going to do this, but then I start drinking and we start eating and we start having fun and I just don't think about it. So who knows what's going to come of it. But stick around. There'll be more. I'll have some videos tomorrow. And uh, thank you to all of you for coming to hang out. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Portsmouth, yeah, looks awesome. Everything I imagined. Definitely I want to go. All right, take care, everyone. Bye. Mark from the States. Mark from the States. It's Mark. Yeah.